I wanted to make a very, very basic video about how to get started in trading or investing in a stock for the beginners. If you're just getting started, if you're completely brand new, uh, there's three main things that you need to be able to purchase a stock. And uh, it's very simple actually. Uh, if you are watching this video, you probably have internet access and a device to access that internet. So all you really need are three things to be able to purchase a stock or to make a trade, to make an investment in the stock market. The first thing that you need is a device with internet access, which is probably what you have. You can use a telephone, like a smartphone, you can use a computer, a laptop, whatever it is. Uh, you can even use something at the library, one of those old school libraries or schools at a college, universities. Uh, go in, use their computer, sign up and register for a broker. So once you have the device, you go ahead and you sign up to a broker. There's a lot of different brokers out there and most people choose their broker based on price, but if you're just getting started, you should also look at some technical support, some assistance, uh, some customer service that the broker can give you if you have any questions. Uh, they're the more advanced brokers, they don't usually offer a lot of uh, technical support or assistance, but they have better fees and rates. So it's a give and take that you have to decide what's more important for you. If you're just getting started, you may pay a little more in the fees, uh, but you'll get that customer support uh, from your broker. So that's what I would recommend is get a very good broker that can help you out and answer any questions that you have or has a 1-800 number. So after you have the device, you signed up for a broker, the next thing is to pick your stocks and place the trade. So the final thing that you need is the capital. So after you have uh, a device with internet access to sign up, or you could even actually call them with the telephone and sign up to your broker. So you have some device, you go online, you sign up for your broker, and the third and final step is you actually need money or capital. So when you have that capital, you go ahead and deposit that capital into your brokerage account. It's kind of like a bank, so think of it as depositing money into your bank. Once the money is in that brokerage account, or let's just call it bank at the moment for simplicity's sake, once it's there, you are able to use that money to purchase stock or purchase investments into certain equities and uh, investment classes. So uh, depending on the broker, you can invest in Forex, you can tr uh, invest in options or trade options, uh, stocks, bonds, all kinds of different things. So once the money's in that brokerage account, you can go ahead, select some stocks that you wanna trade or pick, either some of your favorite companies um, or companies that you've researched, and you go ahead and place your order. Now, the way that you handle these things, such as stock picking, such as which broker to choose, there's a whole mess of information out there and there's a lot of topics and a lot of different discussions that we just don't have the time to get into because I could spend hours just talking about every little subject detail um, along with how to create the computer that you need for trading or how to select a broker or how to find a stock to trade and so forth. All these things, they have little sub steps that you can get into. Uh, but in general, if you're just brand new, if you're just looking to get started, you don't know where to start, those are the three things that you need. And if you have a, a job that you're attending, uh, just need a device, need a broker, have some capital to put into that broker, and then you select and choose your stocks to trade and go ahead and place the orders. So that's all there is really to it um, in terms of the things that you need. Sounds easy, uh, but in order to be successful, it is a lot more harder and more difficult uh, than just you know signing up to these things. But if you're looking to just put some money into, let's say an ETF or a bond, uh, then once you have these things set up, then you go ahead and type in um, such as a bond or a certain stock and you put your money in it, purchase your shares and let it sit. You don't really have to go through all those mutual funds. You don't have to go through uh, you know, an investment company that's gonna show you exactly step by step on how to do that. Just go through that process, have a device, get a broker, put the capital inside the broker, and after that, you're ready to go. You look up a ticker symbol, place your order, and you can let your money sit there for months, years, or decades at a time. So those are the three things that you need to be able to invest in the stock market, to be able to get started and place a trade. 
So if you enjoyed this video and if you're just getting started, I have a lot of great videos out there that you can learn from. Just click one of the thumbnails right below this video and we'll get started in learning. But if you wanna see some of my more in-depth video trainings, then go ahead, click this link right up here and when you get there, enter your name and email address and I'll send you those more detailed training videos as they are released. And don't forget to check out some of my in-depth stock market training video courses while you're there on the website. Thanks again for watching and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.